Okay. In this video, I'm going to go through installation of your Fireball upgrade kit to your Quick Loop control system. Now we're going to use a 2017 Quick Loop control system. If you have a 2015 or 2016, you're going to need to do a complete disassembly of a D-Power mainline. And the video on that is mentioned in the comments below. So your upgrade kit will come like this. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to undo this screw on the top here. So you're going to need a two and a half mil hex key for this. So just rotate it anti-clockwise on the side. And then this is the new spinning handle. So all you need to do on here now is just unscrew it in an anti-clockwise rotation. Okay, so we're just going to put these on the side. So now looking at the quick loop, this is a 2017 model. What we're going to do is take this apart so we can add the fireball. Okay, so first thing, again, we're going to undo this screw using the hex key. Okay, just set aside. Okay, the next step is we're just going to take the landing line. So you pull the stopper up just to make it easier. Okay, so you're going to remove that and just pull off the stopper ball. Okay. Now we're going to undo the, the spinning handle, so just grab the top and bottom and just rotate anti-clockwise and the system comes separate. Okay, we can put this aside. So this is how a 2017 system will end up. Um, as you can see, it's in this position here with the deep power main line is around the bottom. What I'm going to do now is going to show you what will happen if you had a 2016 and you've broken it down. So this upper section comes apart nowadays. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it up and the two halves actually split like that. And just for this video, I'm going to show you how it comes completely apart. So this is how your 2016 and 15 system will end up. So what we're going to do is I'm now going to rebuild this completely and show you how you can do that and then attach the fireball. It's going to take the, the transition funnel here. The first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to feed the landing line up through. Okay, and it slides over the piece. You're just going to make sure the line is not bound. Then using a pointy thing, it's just something you can lean on. I'm just going to pull the line out a little bit just to get some, some tension in it. Okay, so now I'm going to take my two pieces, which is what we've, the new upper spinning handle. Okay, you're just going to place it around the tubing on each side. And you're going to find these two pieces just key together. And that's pretty much it, ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to move this down and just make sure it's in the right orientation. So you see there's a little step on the back in this point here, and this lines up with the key here. And I'm just going to get it ready for when we've pulled the tension on. Okay, so the next step is I'm just going to take the flagging line. I'm just going to put it through this loop. Okay, and then using a pointy thing or anything you can use to just tension the line, I'm going to pull this up. And it's going to go over the top of the spinning handle. Okay, the key thing now is you've got to make sure that the line sits over the step. Okay, so once you're in this position here, the line's seated around the collar, you've now basically converted your 2015 or 2016 control system to a 2017 connection system. And this is current with all control systems we have in 2017. Okay, so now we're gonna install the fireball section. So to make it easier, we're just gonna separate the upper and lower units, just like that, by lifting up the QR. And now we're gonna feed the landing line down through the inside of the fireball, through the chamber, and out the sides. Okay, once you've got the line through, what I find is easier is to apply the ring on the bottom. It just stops the line from going back up inside. And all you need to do now is you're just gonna screw these two pieces together. So just line them up, and just screw the two halves together until the two lines line up. You see these two indicating lines here. Once they're in line and the system's ready, and all you need to do is add the screw onto the back. So you can take your screw, which we undid earlier, and it's just gonna go into that hole here. 
And you're just gonna turn this until it's finger tight. Don't over tighten that section. Okay, and then the final step is just add the lower section, drop the cover, and you've just upgraded your quick loop control system to a fireball control system. So if you have any more questions about this at all, please go to cabrinakites.com and check out the product videos and all the product information there.